Today I made this really awesome chalkboard eraser. Uh, so keep watching if you guys want to see how I made it. Yeah. Alright. So first off, these are the things you're going to need. Some kind of scrap fabric, scissors, an exacto knife, felt, sharpie, something to measure with, cardboard, glue gun, and glue gun ammunition, also known as glue sticks. <laughs> okay, so first take your little like felty fabric. I had this laying around the house, and as you can see, it once you erase with it, it actually like stays in there. Um, so you're gonna get that, and if you don't have like anything like this, you can get like I think probably like some kind of like felt sock if you like turn it inside out I think that would work too I just had this laying around my house so I just used it <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut it kind of guess guesstimate I guess about how big I want it um, as you can tell I have really dull scissors so I'm pretty much gonna skip all of the parts where I cut stuff after this <laughs> so you guys don't have to sit through the whole long process of my dull scissors trying to cut stuff <laughs> okay so I got this but I also want to cut off this little thing it's like there's different fabric right here and it's just weird so I'm gonna cut this off too all right so now that that's all cut off let's move that to the side and now let's get out our cardboard. Mine is eight by eight um, inches. Yeah, <laughs> inches. <laughs> um, I went ahead and drew on some sharpie lines of kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to take my uh, what's it called? <laughs> my exacto blade. <laughs> And go ahead and cut out these squares. But if you don't have any saddle blade, you can use scissors. But like I already said, my scissors are incredibly dull. So yeah, I'm just going to use my exacto blade. Um, so I'm just going to cut these out. And try not to cut through my little background thing. I know, I should use one of those boards. But I don't have one of those board, those board things that you put underneath. Um... Oh yeah, and don't judge me holding my exacto knife really weird right here, because I was trying to make sure you guys could see it, and it was like a really weird angle. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna... Hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna finish cutting these out, and then I will... Or, I'll be back when they're all cut out. Alrighty, so I've got them all nice and cut out, and I think, I think I kind of like it this, what do you call it, a bev like beveled, I, I think that's the right word, like beveled edge look, or feel, how it's kind of different, I think that, I think that'll work good for a nice grip. Let's set that off here to the side, and, uh, Set off the side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just going to grab my glue gun and try and get this good together. Let's see. And of course, my glue gun hates me. Take two. <laughs> Try again. Trying to put this thing on. This time, I'm trying to use another glue stick to like shove the glue through. <laughs> there we go. Problem with this though, I have to be fast. So there we go. Okay. So I just push this down. 
Mm, all the little flyaways. So many. They're like spider webs. They just stick to everything. <laughs> and they're so tiny like spider webs. Okay. So we've got that. So now let's flip it over and glue on the other piece. I'm, gonna do the, I'm doing the same little beveled edge thing. Like I did on the other side. So there's some glue on this. There we go. Wonderful. Push it down. And once again, get rid of all the little flyaways. Alrighty. <laughs> I just said alrighty. Um, that looks good. Nice and secure. So uh, we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so grab your little scrap piece fabric. This fabric, I don't know if it's supposed to be zero pin or what, but I just found it laying around my house and I kind of liked it. Um, it's a little wrinkly, but that'll be okay. It's not really going to matter that much. Um, so flip it over and make sure you have the, the wrong side facing up. And kind of, I guess, pick a side that you want to lay it on. I'm just going with this side because it was just the first one to go with you. Then kind of line it up a little bit. Make sure that it'll all fold over. It'll pretty much look like that. It, it's kind of like wrapping a present. Pretty much any kind of present. <laughs> Christmas, birthday, you know. So. I'll just speed through this. Ow, 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 I seriously just burnt myself. Oh. oh so stupid. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Don't touch glue again. Hot glue. <laughs> Get back to work. Alright, that's the little finished project so far. Feels nice. Okay, so now let's get out our little felt material. I'm just gonna trim it up a little bit and uh, make it fit and straight, straighten it up. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got it all nice and straight. I think this is, this is probably a nice little good spot for it. So we'll just make sure it's all nice and clean and get out the glue gun once again. And then just put this on here. There we go. Glue gun, please work. <laughs> then place this right on here. I 
I do recommend using like something else to help you put it down. Like like when I'm using a little cardboard piece, it really does help. <laughs> and it keeps you from burning yourself unless you're like me and just can't use it. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up that. All right, I have all the edges glued down. It looks really nice and feels good and actually works. Um, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more DIYs like this or different stuff, please comment down below and you know say that you thought this was awesome. And uh, also check out my channel for more awesome content. Yeah, thanks for watching. Gotta go.